Hi, everyone. Welcome to Family Matters. We're so excited to have you join us today. For this episode today, we're joined by Mike McGregor, Certified Health Coach and Director of the 15 for Me program. Welcome, Mike. We're glad to have you. Hey, Abby. Thanks for uh, inviting me on today. Before we jump into our topic, can you share a little bit more about you and your current role? Sure. So I am the director of the 15 for Me program, and that is an evidence-based um, stress reduction program for employees and organizations to help with uh, improving retention as well as decreasing turnover costs. Great. Thank you so much. So you mentioned, uh, I know in your title, you are a certified health coach as well as a physical therapist. Can you tell our families a little bit more about what that means? And can you share with our families a bit about your current work background and your current role? Absolutely. So let's first start with uh, being a physical therapist. So I received my doctorate of physical therapy from Marymount University um, many years ago. And basically what PTs are, we're considered movement experts or exercise experts. And when you go to a physical therapist, it's generally for either an acute condition or injury that your physician refers us for. And what we work on is looking at what your impairments are and helping to set goals to help you meet uh, those goals for you to be able to return to um, your life and to enhance your quality of life. So generally, physical therapists are really good at prescribing exercise, providing patient education, um, and helping to improve um, one's life. Okay, great. So I can understand how your background as a physical therapist could help you being a certified health coach. This concept of health coaching could be new to many people. Uh, can you explain exactly what it means to be a certified health coach and how do the individuals you work with benefit from this service? So basically a certified health coach is, I got my certification through the National Society for Health Coaches, and it was designed for those who are already practicing healthcare professionals. And we received additional training specifically related to helping patients with behavior change, as well as lifestyle modification. So what health coaches are really good at is helping clients or patients um, become sort of the driver of the change. So as in relation to a physical therapist, generally physical therapists are a little bit more uh, prescriptive in terms of what the treatment plan would be. And a certified health coach really will work with the client to identify what they want, what's sort of realistic in their life, and sort of be like an accountability partner or an ally with that client trying to make that change, whatever that change in their life may be. So are there times when you have patients that you're seeing for both physical therapy and health coaching? Did those worlds collide at all? Um, they can sometimes collide, um, but I do need to be very clear with the client or the patient what my role is with them at that time. So if I am um, putting on my physical therapy cap, as an example, I'll need to ensure that I stay within the scope of what a physical therapist can do and what they can't do. And if I am putting on my cap as a certified health coach, that scope of practice or what I can do for a client or patient is very different. So I just need to be clear with uh, the client or the patient in terms of what they want and what they need, and then be able to provide um, the best opportunity for them. So um, if I'm working with somebody from a health coaching perspective, the benefits of having PT as a background or training is that I have sort of a higher skill set or uh, level of education as it relates to movement or anatomy or uh, the musculoskeletal system. But in terms of what I would provide from a health coaching perspective, would sort of still stay within that lane. So I do have a responsibility as a physical therapist uh, to ensure that I stay uh, within the guidelines established um, by our practice. And that I'm very clear again to the families about you know, what we're trying to achieve. Thank you for that explanation. And I know that uh, physical therapy needs a prescription from a doctor in order, you know, for the patient to participate in physical therapy. Well, that is true and not true. So 
Um, we have direct access in many states. So it always goes back to sort of the State Practice Act of the state that the PT is practicing in. So oh. as an example, I'm in North Carolina and we have direct access. So I do not need a physician referral to see a patient. Um, but that's in relation to just providing physical therapy. Where the issue may come into is if the uh, patient or client is using their insurance um, to uh, utilize a benefit that they may have, the insurance provider may require a physician visit prior to that referral to the physical therapist. So it is very different. It can be confusing. And that's why you want to sort of talk to the PT about you know, whether or not um, a efficient physician referral is necessary, because it will vary based on insurance provider and it will vary based on state that the PT is practicing in. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you for sharing the differences. What about health coaching? Does a doctor require, you know, is it the same kind of rules? Is it varied by state? Is a prescription needed? Yeah. So again, you need to put the, you need to do some research into um, sort of what kind of health coach you're looking for. So health coaches are not licensed per se. Um, and there's actually minimal regulation related to health coaches. So you always want to do your due diligence in uh, looking for a health coach. Um, again, I went through the National Society for Healthcare uh, for health coaches because I wanted to be certified. I wanted to be able to um, have a certification to share with my patients and my family so they knew exactly the kind of training that I received. Now, there's huge varieties of dif differences between health coaches out there. There's also um, wellness coaches and life coaches. So it can be very confusing for the client or the uh, patient or their family. So you always want to make sure that you talk to the health coach and ask those questions. You know, where did you receive your training from? What are your credentials, if any? Um, what can you provide me that another health coach or wellness coach cannot? So it can be confusing as um, for many people. Got it. So there's a lot of these terms out there. So asking pointed questions will help determine if it's the right fit. Yeah. And there's definitely health coaches that have different areas of specialty. There are really great programs out there where the specialty is based on nutrition or the specialty is based on lifestyle and other choices, sleep, et cetera. So you want to make sure that depending on the, the type of change you want to make, that you match up with the, the most appropriate health coach for you. And there's obviously huge differences in terms of prices um, for health coaches as well. So again, it always will be based upon, you know, what kind of training did they have? What's their area of specialty? And then trying to, again, match it to what you're seeking uh, from the patient or the client's perspective. And what is your specialty? You mentioned that each health coach has an area of expertise. Do you have an area of expertise for your? Yeah, so my health coaching is more generalized um, because of my background as a physical therapist. So um, I basically went through some additional training that helped me with uh, truly understanding behavior change, how to guide people, how to develop rapport and trust um, and relationships with individuals understanding from their lens um, what they're looking for, how to sort of facilitate it again from the client, um, which again is a little bit different from how we typically assess and intervene from a physical therapist perspective in certain cases. Um, so we also learn about um, a, sort of a subject called motivational interviewing, um, which really again is being an active listener, being empathetic, and sort of truly understanding where the patient's coming from and where they want to go. So that certification and that health coaching um, opportunity that I was able to get really helped um, solidify that skill set and those skills that I was hoping to to get out of it. That's great. So it sounds like health coaching is really could be beneficial, you know, for many people. Is it only for the older adult or is it for only younger individuals? Could it be for anyone uh, or is there an area that it's more inclined you know, to be towards? So health coaching can really be for anyone. So there is a lot of confusion about what are some certain circumstances or situation that someone would seek out a health coach and where it would benefit them. 
So maybe you go to your physician and we all know that we have very limited time with our physicians and you get a lot of information on that sort of quick visit. So maybe the physician says to you, you know, I need you to lose some weight. It would be benefit for your health to lose a little bit of weight. I want you to be more active. And maybe you come out of that with, that's a lot of information. I don't know really where to start. I'm sort of unclear about what the right action steps are to achieve that. So a health coach could be really beneficial in that situation. There's also a lot of different medical language that's sort of thrown out at the hospital or at your PT, or when you go to your physician again, or you're, or you're having a, a session with a nurse. And sometimes a health coach can help sort of you understand what these instructions are, um, what the intent of those instructions are, and potentially help you sort of differentiate, you know, where the priority is based on your recent visit. Um, a health coach can also just help you with certain lifestyle changes that you want to make. So again, most clients understand they have the knowledge about what they need to do. A lot of us just really struggle with how to get started, how to sustain it, what happens when we um, have a setback. Um, you know, a lot of us benefit from having, again, I mentioned earlier, that accountability partner or that ally and having really just somebody to talk to about, you know, my life is a little bit different than many people's lives. So how do I sort of incorporate some of this to achieve what I'm hoping to achieve? Um, a lot of other people seek health coaches because maybe they're truly looking at prevention of, um, you know, not developing a chronic condition. There's over 133 million people in this country that have a chronic condition. And that's very costly, not only for the healthcare systems, but it's it's very difficult for many people to sort of either manage those symptoms, especially if there's an exacerbation or, you know, your symptoms are, are higher um, at a given time. So health coaches can really support you in sort of the prevention of wellness component of it, but also help you manage those symptoms when they do arise. So it's really, you know, all aspects of overall wellness, lifestyle, like you said, the accountability aspect, there's a really large um, comprehensive component to health coaching. Yeah, absolutely. Is it more of a one-time thing? So if I were interested in a health coach session, is it just a one-time session or is it over a few weeks or months? Um, how, what's the time frame with health coaching? Yeah, it's a great question. I, I, it can be sort of any and all of that. So generally it's going to be more than one session. The, the first session is typically an assessment of some sort. So there's going to be sort of a wellness questionnaire that the health coach is going to sort of gather data from you on. And they might ask you questions about, again, your lifestyle. Um, what are you eating? How are you eating? How are you um, how much water are you drinking per day? How much sleep are you getting per day? How much activity are you getting per day? Then they might also go through and talk about, okay, what are the priorities for you to make changes? There's a lot of people that aren't ready to make a change. Um, and one of the things that a health coach can sort of identify is where you are in sort of those, those stages of change. So if someone is a smoker, as an example, and we know that's a health risk. The client knows it's a health risk, but they're unwilling at this point to make that change. That wouldn't be something that the health coach would work on with the client. It's not client driven, but that same uh, client maybe has, um, has some weight issues and wants to lose um, some weight as directed by their physician. And that is something that they're comfortable taking that first step in. So that is what the health coach would hopefully assess on that initial uh, assessment. And then they would work with the client to sort of make, uh, make goals and a targeted plan to execute that. So the, the initial assessment is really about sort of achieving all of that. And then it's really going to be up to the patient in terms of what they want. So Health coaches will see people on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, health coaches will also see people from a group perspective. So they'll do, you know, three to four people that want to sort of lose weight in that example, and they'll work with everybody sort of on a specific uh, time frame or framework. 
And then that sort of make brings the cost down a little bit for each individual. And it also provides that sort of social engagement in that community that many people need in order to achieve the goals that they're seeking. Um, so it can be one visit, it can be two visit, it could be something set up every month that the client and the health coach get together, it could be something that they see, you know, twice a week for, you know, six months, you know, it's always going to go back to, again, what the needs of the client are, um, and that'll be something that they will, uh, they will work out um, during that initial visit. So it sounds like it's just another example of how health coaching is really geared towards what the client is interested in improving. It Absolutely. could just be a one-time thing. It could be ongoing, just depending on their need. Yeah. And you're also starting to see health coaching being offered either by your insurance um, as an added benefit. Um, there's also um, some medical clinics that are beginning to offer health coaching as part of their service, knowing the limitations of what the physician can provide. So again, most people um, go to the doctor for that information, right? Those objective tests, those objective markers, how healthy are they, where, the, where is their risk? But a lot of physicians lack the resources, not the intent, but they lack the resources to help work with the client to sort of achieve those things in a sustainable way. So offering health coaching in that situation potentially is an extension of the physician, of the medical practice, to allow the client to have sort of, again, that ally as they sort of work towards that collaborative plan for that behavior change that the physician and the client have agreed on. That's great. Thank you so much for all this great information. I'm sure that many people, you know, listening in are interested in um, improving a, a path towards their overall well-being. How do you recommend someone get started on that journey or on that path to their wellness? I mean, there's a couple of different ways that I would suggest. Number one, I would just do research and find out, you know, are you truly interested in a health coach? Are you looking, does that meet the needs of that? Is, does that mean the sort of the, the behavior change, the support that you need? Are you looking for something else? Are you looking for more of a life coach? Because that's very different from a health coach. So I would do that initial research first. I would also talk to the doctor, you know? So again, especially if you um, have chronic conditions or have health risk markers that pose you at risk for X, Y, and Z, having a conversation with the physician is always a great first step. But understanding that sometimes the physicians are unaware of who health coaches are and how they can better support their practice or their clients. So there's a lot of great information out there, again, on the internet or talking to your PT or talking to anyone sort of in the healthcare industry. But I would sort of do your research and your due diligence first to see if that is something that you feel would benefit you in taking those steps forward. Okay, thank you. So we have time for just one more question. Do you have any last words or any additional advice, advice or recommendations for the individuals and the family members watching um, in regards to health coaching? I guess my the biggest thing that I want to make sure that I communicate effectively to clients is when you're looking at health coaching and truly trying to understand, you know, trying to simplify what they do. But basically what they're going to do is they're going to try to take you from a place that you are to a place that you want to be. And they're going to be, again, that sort of behavioral change specialist. They're going to be the one that's going to motivate you. They're the ones that's going to coach you. And they're the ones that are going to hold you accountable. So all of us need support. All of us make modifications in terms of our lifestyle within our, our family household or what we do in the community. And some of us need that extra support to be able to sort of meet the goals that we're hoping for. And we also need someone who's non-judgmental. So again, one of the biggest attributes that health coaches do is that they're very good in terms of active listening. They're going to ask you questions related to trying to understand what is the meaning and purpose behind why you want to make those changes. They're going to do something what we call readiness to change assessment. So they're going to ask you questions to truly determine 
are you wanting to change what you say you want to change? And they're going to work with you sort of step by step. So the example that I provided before about being a smoker and not necessarily ready to make that change, they're going to still keep that sort of on the back burner. And each time, even though you're working on weight loss, potentially with that person and with that health coach, they're going to bring up the smoking and, and they're going to bring up how it's impacting maybe your ability to lose weight or eat healthy or have energy. And they're really going to help sort of guide your own processing so you can continue to self-reflect. So when you are ready to potentially make a change, they're with you and they have a good understanding of your situation. So that's a really great example where a health coach can work with you from a long-term perspective and sort of, again, make it client, client-centered, client but also help sort of push or guide you to making the choices that you wanna make, maybe wanna make, but maybe you're too afraid to, to make those uh, choices. So another great thing that health coaches do is they're really good at seeing the big picture. So that really understanding your story, understanding your values, because they have the time to ask these questions. They have the time to assess these things. And when we feel more comfortable with somebody that they truly understand where we're coming from, they can see it from our lens. We have a tendency to be a little bit more open with them. You know, and I'll give you another example where there's a lot of literature that supports that not a lot of people are 100% honest with their doctor. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But when you develop trust and rapport and relationship with a health coach, you're going to be more open. You're going to be more emotionally available to them, share things that are going on in your life, and they are going to be set up at a better opportunity to sort of help guide you through the change that you're seeking. So health coaching is a really, it's a growing, expansive field. There's a lot of different varieties of health coaching out there, but there's tons of evidence and tons of support coming through about the benefits of health coaching as it relates to decreasing chronic conditions, helping with prevention and wellness, even helping people that are at work with their productivity and stress and all those other things. So health coaching is really a great field and I would encourage everyone to sort of look into it as an opportunity to improve their own wellness. I love the takeaway of taking you from where you are to where you wanna be. So that's a great takeaway and a great spot to end. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for taking the time to share with our families all of your knowledge and expertise. I'm sure our families value your input on this topic that you and you've provided such great information. Thank you everyone for joining us and stay tuned for our next Family Matters episode. Goodbye. Thank you.